Testing one, two, three. What is up, buggies? You might be seeing me from a new place called YouTube. Don't worry, this actual stream itself will be reposted on YouTube. So it's not some weird archived thing, you know. So, I wanted to play an old childhood favorite of mine, Secret of Mana. Some of you might know of the game through the Wii Shop or through the original version on the Super Nintendo. From 1993 was the game released and, well, it turned out to be a really good hit. Everyone loved it. That was first starting on RPGs and I was actually introduced to the RPG adventure genre, action adventure, whatever you want to consider Secret of Mana through Secret of Mana. That's where I kind of learned some of that stuff. But I've kind of been noticing a lot of players, and let me adjust this camera because I look a little low. There, that's better. I've noticed a lot of Let's Players start this game, but they don't finish it. And it's kind of making me go, come on, it's a really good game. I mean, 60% of the store was cut, yeah, and so... No, wait, sorry, 40% of the story and 60% of the graphics content was cut from this game because... As we... Let me go on this small tangent. There was originally going to be a, a CD add-on to the Super Nintendo that would eventually become the PlayStation. So, when Sony had a falling out with Nintendo, Sony went and did its own thing and made the PS1. Because Sony was originally going to make that little CD add-on for the Super Nintendo, and that would have meant more technological capabilities for different games, and like, higher detail and... What's a good way to describe the world in 3D? I mean, better 3D and more memory. Unfortunately, a lot of that get cut. And I'm really hoping to see that cut content in the remake that comes out February 18th, 2018. Or, no, sorry, 15th. My bad. So, you might be noticing things are a little bit different if you're from my Twitch streams. Because the old chat isn't where it used to be. But it does have art from my uh, dear friend, Sayan Asita Bladaday, as well as a couple others, who go by the name Gemwisp, and, pardon me for saying this, 50 Dragon Dicks. Yeah, this kind of ruins the little bit of the G rating, if I had any G rating to begin with. But, you know, I think you're going to enjoy this stream. It's really fun. I love this game. I'll nerd out about it a lot. Yeah, that's kind of a given. And if you're hearing extra noise, that's the fan, because it's over, I don't know what it is, it's like 82, 85 outside, and I'm wearing a hat and a scarf and wristbands. Yeah, that's, it's totally, it's totally a good thing. I'm going to just kind of check on my phone what the temperature is so I can, oh, hello, it is nine, nine, oop, nine I don't want to show that, it's my town, but I don't want to give them away my town. It's 97 outside. It's nice and hot, but thankfully it's cool enough in here to actually still be livable. So, I think it came here to actually watch what's going on, or watch w what would be going on, and that is Secret of Mana. So, let us play, and if you would like, on my Twitch I have this set up already. Pardon me, YouTube, for not having a good setup, but YouTube isn't the best setup for kind of gaming streams like I have them. I mean, I have all of the information I need and all social media links and whatnot on my Twitch organized just fine. So if you want to go to ver go over to my Twitch, it's linked to my YouTube profile. But also, if you're just wanting to copy it over, you can see down there in the bottom left, I have the different links for different sites, and that also includes GameWisp and Patreon. So if you want to donate or subscribe and even have your name up there... You can go to my Patreon at Jester or GameWisp at Jester underscore Dayrama. And there, it's only $5 to get your name added. And if you want to donate a dollar and just want to be generous, it's all up to you. It's your choice. It's your money. I'm not going to be here to take your money, but it's up to you and what you want to give. And it'd only be $1 at the least on Patreon because, well, that's the lowest I can go. And I wouldn't mind, like, change tips, but unfortunately there's no e-change other than Bitcoin. So, if you do want to join in on the chat, I am sorry that I'm not showing the Twitch or YouTube chat, because I'm sure having three chats on this stream 
would be a little bit hectic. So, in order to keep things together and in one place, I have integrated the text channel buggy stream chat way below. Whoops, and there goes my pop screen. Stay, stay, stay. Good. So, if you want to join in the chat, I don't have voice for this stream because I'm going solo. But if you want to join the text chat, go down to the little link over there, discord.gg slash whatever that is. It's also a link to my Twitch, so if you want to easily just click and get right into my server, that's where you go. So, I pardon, please pardon this massive intro, but I'm kind of needing to make this a little bit more involved. And I kind of want to make this more of a regular thing. Because one day a week, it's kind of like a one-time shot a week. I don't want to just say, hey, you only have one chance a week to actually see what I'm doing and hang out. I want to do more streams and make it more of a daily thing, or at least like a work shift thing, where I'd probably do like a 40-hour work week of streaming. Now, of course, I'd be just playing games and being a total goof, but if that would be a dream of making a living off of it, I'd be happy with that. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take my phone off my desk. I don't want you guys hearing a bzz, bzz when I'm trying to be serious and emotional when this game gets so cheesily emotional. This game, excuse me, this game is a little bit cheesy, but that's part of where I got some of my humor, more and more of my writing style, because I don't mind a little bit of cheese, especially if it kind of makes the basis for what a lot of RPGs do. This game is lighthearted, but it's also going to hit you hard in the right places on occasion. Your heart will be broken. A little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, and... Oh, great. It's not showing up in this stinking stream. Pardon me, I'm trying to get this to work. Um, here we go. Give me a sec. Hopefully you guys can still see everything okay. Close this, close that. I need to do a display capture, which shows my wallpaper made by friends, other than the one little hand you see behind one of the pictures. So, Gilded Damon, Santa Santa Blatter Day, three times, have made in the art that I love to use. Also, that little black and white character below that is in the darkness, Santa Santa Blatter Day also drew that. So, you didn't hear her to come here to just see me talk the whole time. So, let me just get this going and let us play Secret of Mana! Please let me know if it's too loud. This is the opening song. Just listen to that emulated piano. <laughs> a little story for you. Darkness sweeps the troubled land as mana's power fades. People await a hero who will wield the sword. Excalibur, Herald, Gygas. The blade has had many names, for it has been celebrated in myths and legends throughout time. But all of these speak to just one weapon. The sword of mana. Copyright 1993, Square Company Limited. All rights reserved. Licensed by Nintendo. Now let me pause this a moment because it's a little loud. Oh, can you hear me better? Eh, uh, that's, that's better. There we go, that's a little bit more balanced. But yes, let me know if the game's too loud and I'll adjust volumes. Because I have this really obscure setup that just kind of works. Right, play the game. Whoops. Alright. 
Should I go with my name or the original name? Eh. I'll go with the original just because. Well, you guys kind of—I kind of want you guys to show you guys just the little names that were used. Oops. Um. Whoops. There we go. Not range. It's not gonna be range. It's gonna be Randy. Using the power of mana, a civilization had grown strong. I'll um, t let you know about this translation too. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war rocked the world and mana seemed to disappear. Hold on, I'll turn down the volume. Eh. Hold on. Give me just a second. Open the volume mixer. Yeah, this is why I check. This is the kind of a whole live check. It's usually different because I always try these things a little bit new. Now let's get back to this. Before it was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river. History repeats. Ah, that mode 7 3D. Just look at it. It's like I'm playing a 90s game. Hey guys, wait up! Ah! Shh, be quiet, the Elder will be furious if he finds out we went up here alone. Yeah, haven't you heard the stories about this place? There's a ghost around. Huh, did you really believe that ghost story last night? The adults just said that to scare us. Oh yeah, right, the note about the translation. This is actually a, an edited version of Secret of Mana. This was translated by a user named Fusoya. And this actually is a more complete translation of what was in Secret of Mana. Originally, Secret of Mana for the West, that means us, we had unfortunately had a character limit in a lot of this information on the memory. So the limits caused a lot of cuts to the, ta uh, to the uh, script. A lot of cuts to the script. So then. All right, uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, I already said that line. But I did hear Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We must have we have to find it. Help, I'm falling! Ah, ah. And away he goes. End of the game. Game over. That's Secret of Mana. But not quite. He survives a fall like that somehow, because, you know, animated characters have this habit of surviving great, great heights and falls. Ouch! Phew. No way to get back up. Now what am I going to do? Let's go down. And over here. Randy. Randy. And what do we do here? I don't know. I think we have to get through. The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Is there anything up here? No. I'm just gonna... I'm messing around. I've played this game... So Helen back. And experienced Helen back with this game. He kinda does that. Oops, sorry, I should have read that. Who are you and what's the sword doing here? I think it's a Randy, a sword. Ugh. Huh? Ow, oh, that light's so bright I can't see. Ah, I got a ghost. Randy, it is I who asked the sword. Huh? 
Say what? You mean this sword? Yes, this very magically powerful sword that has no consequences. No consequences? No, there's nothing to worry about. The brilliant light is gone in an instant. I have to get back. Now, I did hear some of the sample lines that are going to be... Ah, sorry, let me adjust the volume. Ooh. Ah, hold on! Ah, sh Yay! Turbo clap! Okay, that'll save that. Okay. Little glitch. Turn this down a little bit more. Let me just say, oops. Okay. As I was saying, I heard the voice lines for the three main characters and they sound a bit cheesy, but cheesy kind of fits with this game. Whoa, what's a rabbi doing in a place like this? Yep, here comes the weight, the hit and wait game. The game of guerrilla tactics. Yeah, I'll probably play the new version to try and find everything. Because I'm sure if there's new content like they say, I will hope that there is plenty of new stuff to be found. But then again, they don't want to stray too far from the original. Because the original itself, people really love it. Despite its retroness. Speaking of retro, I was kind of... Candy! So, speaking of retro, I was going to kind of plan this for my retro persona, Zekman Rachmaninoff III. I was going to be this really dorky 90s kind of character playing games that are like from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, despite him being from the 90s. Because, well, I'm from the 90s, it's kind of what I'm from, so therefore I get 90s privilege. But, since this is a very favorite game of mine, I wanted to play it personally because, well, it has a very close place in my heart. And why wouldn't I want to do it myself? Yeah, pop filter in the way. And that and these monitors are a little too low. Stab. Slash and a miss. And a hit on me. Yeah, they attack. Despite them being cute. They'll get you. Hello, don't try and run away from me. Yeah, it makes it kind of sad to hit them, doesn't it? This game is so cutely morbid. My skill weapon's up. Sword reaches level one. That doesn't sound the same, or does it? And it's a more powerful slash. So... I'll just casually beat these guys to see maybe if I can level up. Now something I do like that they're doing with uh, Secret Amount of Remake is they're incorporating this whole old style stage setup as a part of a mini-map. So it's like you gotta get the hell, hey look, it's, how, it's this is how close we made it. And then we'll still see if there's anything that was missing that I'll get in some new maps maybe. And what do I get? Candy! Candy heals you! Candy's good for you in this game! Get a slash away! Hey! And also another thing! Leveling up heals you automatically! Yeah, free candy! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? When you get candy... Oh, another little thing about the memory. You can only have three enemies on the screen at a time. You can't get anything more than that. Like, see right here. This guy, this little rabbi will just pop up because... Oh, hey, you knocked out the other guys? I'll spawn now. Yep, 
Yeah, another little, like, visual thing that I thought is humorous is that you can slash the grass. Reminds you a little bit of Legend of Zelda, doesn't it? Oh! Jeez, I wasn't paying attention. I shouldn't be doing that! Okay. Let me check my menu. And here's the ring menu. Some RPGs use this. This game was one of the first to do it. I have overalls. And just overalls. How much do I have for GP? GP is the money. Now these stats, they don't really do anything. They just kinda are there. I mean, you get this different information, but I haven't really noticed a huge of a difference when you get... Well, actually, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference. Like, evade and hit, percent, yeah, I can understand. It does change. It does change a little, things a little bit as you level up. But there is a bit of a grind. And here's the cute little town. Did you see that, Randy? About a minute ago, something lit up the sky near their falls. I have a real bad feeling about this. Randy, the island tower is looking for you. What did you do this time? What did you do this time? I should probably said it like that. Oh well. Hey, this is a shop. With a dancing guy. He likes to dance as he sells you stuff. Randy, on an errand for the Elder? Better hurry along. Or best hurry along, whichever it was. Do I get the bandana? No. I need to knock out some more rabbites. Anything else? Not at the moment. Alright, let's go this way. Let's get back in the fight. Yeah, you gotta dodge when you're recharging. Gotta wait until that 100% and you flash pink. Oh, and then you get low damage if you don't wait long enough. Yeah. It's a little bit of a grind, like I said. What do I get? Candy. You have a limit of four items per item. So I can only have four candy at a time, uh, four uh, status healing at a time, and magical herb I'll tell you about later. Magical herb, I'll tell you now. It deals with status afflictions. So burning, poison, petrification, you need to use that to undo a status. So long as you're not the one that's under the status. But, it does help in the long run. Now the challenge is only having a limit of four like can't healing items. Because you have to make sure you dodge. Alright, what's my GP? Money is at 54. In RPGs, yeah, there is a bit of a grind in RPGs. It's kind of a normal thing. It's kind of training yourself to be better and beat those baddies and bossies, you know. Let's buy! I get a bandana. I mean, I am wearing kind of an off-pink bandana to begin with. Anything else? Be seeing ya! Now let's equip. And I get a slight bit of more protection. When you're playing an RPG, always wear protection. Be in, but I don't need to go in. <laughs> There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Oh, the monsters are surrounding the village. Something's wrong. We better stay inside. Let's see who this guy is, who is purple and yellow. Or like, more like lavender and yellow. Man. Does nothing. I can't do dots, other than saying dot dot dot. Oh, it's you, Randy. Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? 
Let's talk to the lady with the green hair. That guy seems to be a knight from somewhere. What's he doing here? Okay, did I talk to everyone yet? I kind of do that in this game. Talking to everyone is a nice thing. Maybe I can go in this house. I'll talk to her. Like, hey, why aren't wandering person? Okay, I did talk to her. Let's invade this person's house. Hey, Randy, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. Sorry, my back is itchy. I'm not just gonna sit through a stream while my back itches. Yeah, watch out with that sword before you hurt someone. Okay, I think that's everyone from this little village. Randy, thank God you're not hurt. They just told me what happened. Man, I thought you were a goner for sure. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. You idiots, weren't you told not to go there? Huh? Randy? Oh, no, sorry. Huh? Randy? What's that you have? Oh no, it couldn't be. Cool, did you find the treasure? Oops, wrong voice. Cool, did you find the treasure? Way to go! What have you done? How could you have pulled... How could you pull out the sm the monosword? It's impossible. The monosword? Legend has it that our village is finished if... If the sword is removed, and here it is. It is said that the monosword has been protecting our village from disaster. Of course. So, so that's it. That's why all the monsters have appeared and started attacking us. How could an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? Hey, stop it! You did it! It's your fault! Yeah, don't mind the fight. Oh. Whoa, earthquake! Oh, sure, I could press the next button. Press the button to go next in the speech. But I couldn't do that with the other thing. Ah. Uh, yeah, short little scream. Help, I'm a monster! You still got that uh, the sword, don't you? Use it! Yeah, just... Yeah, you used it before, and now you're like, Oh my god, what do I do? Hey, can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking! Or I can wait, and not wait. You gotta dodge! Yeah! I'm doing pretty good for not getting hit. Oh, shizbit. I'm unconscious. Ow. I knocked you out of the sky. Not again! Ah, no you don't. Oh, you did. Frickin' Ant Mantis. Hey! Beat the boss! Yeah. So, all you really gotta do is attempt to dodge however you can, and just smack the man- the Ant Mantis. Way to go! Got Swords Orb. You did it! Wait here, I'll pull you up! How? And away he cries. It appears to be the real Monosword. Huh? What? I came here to Potos hoping to find and retrieve the Monosword myself. It is supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great strife and upheaval. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the Monosword. Well then here, it's yours. A noble gesture, but I'm afraid it's already too late for that. The sword has lost most of its power and must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. And like it or not, you're it. But then... What can I do? I'm not even a knight! Oh, I added a word, oh well. 
understand this will be difficult for you, but our situation is desperate. I won't force you to do it. All I ask is that you hear us out first, before deciding anything. Come to the Water Palace and visit Sal Visit Sage Luca. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Please listen to her advice. Randy, the Elder wants you in this house. Well, I have to be off. Oh, my name is Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the Water Palace. Who are you calling a bug nerd, Skippy? Skipper Boo. Get going! Elder, we can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Randy. You've really done it to me this time. Really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let Randy stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Oh, that was probably the Jeff Foxworthy looking guy. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go! Get out of here! Yeah, go on your way now. And he's getting outcast. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. I heard the adults talking to you upstairs. They were so mean. Don't worry, Randy. I'll make sure Daniel lets you back in the village someday. Well, isn't that cute? Let's open the chest! Found 50 GP. Now, you want to make sure you talk to the Elder before you leave, because there's a bit of backstory. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but... Your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Randy. Goodbye, Randy. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. Yeah, you get the sad leaving music too. Or just the plain sad music in general. I really do love the soundtrack for this game. It's freaking amazing. Have everything you need? Not quite. Let me check. Hurry up and finish your business here. Let me check my items. I have as many candy as I can get. Yeah, tree, you're in the way. Now let me get some magical herbs. I'm only selling you stuff because the Elder Order did it. Well, he's not happy either. He is definitely not happy. Uh -uh. Yeah, medical. Sorry, I was thinking magical. Medical herb. Looks like a radish. Two, three, and four. Cup of Wishes. I'm sure I won't need that right now. I mean, I don't have any allies with me to revive. Cup of Wishes is for reviving your guys. Or girls. You have to equip new armor for it to protect you. Yeah. So, I think we're about set to leave. Yep, I have everything I need. You are hereby banished from Poto's village. Now get out of here. Well, fine then, I will. Yeah, let's knock out this little guy like there was nothing. What's this? A cannon travel center? Let me show you. And here you see the caveman and his cannon travel. 
now for only... How much was it there, caveman? Yeah. There, the Can Travel Brothers are work working to build a global travel network. Going to Water Palace? Jim's already left. He paid your way to two. Hop in. I'll take it. Don't get hurt. Just slide into the cannon. Now I am kind of skipping over a little bit of the area. But there's a bit of backtracking, so you don't have to worry about missing anything. And he goes way up! And lands perfectly centered at the Water Palace. Now, there's something you should know, is that you can either talk to these guys or not. Now, if you don't talk to these guys and go to the Water Palace, when you come back out, they disappear. So, you probably want to find out what they're doing. We came from Pandora to fight Eleni, the witch in the haunted forest. That's a major dialogue. This, this mission will be full of danger, but we'll do our best. We need a whip to go through the shortcut to the castle of Eleni, the witch. Major Dialogue, all set. Right, let's go. And you must know he's an important character because he has a unique sprite too. So what about the sign? Water Palace? Oh, I didn't know where it was. Let's go to the fancy looking water palace. I am looking forward to seeing this place again in 3D. Excellent, I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Let's go, Randy. Well, Gemma's on my side. Yeah, let's go through the random pool. And here we enter. So now what? Hey, you, where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> welcome. What? You mean this girl is two. This girl is 200 years old? Pardon my stuttering. My, my. Looks like you have the Minus Sword. How interesting. <laughs> Whoops. I want to talk to Gemma. Luca, it seems we've run into an unexpected problem. This young man pulled out the sword before I arrived. I arrived. The results were disastrous. Monsters are trying to invade villages. We just fought a mantis ant. I know, the ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Honest power is growing weak. I believe that's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted, and evil monsters revived. They are drawn to the mana sword, hoping to steal away its remaining power. But by defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. I see that you've already found one with the mantis ant. There must be more hidden orbs which the hold mana's power, hold mana power, for the sword. You must find someone who can reforge the sword to release its stored power. Yeah, Flim Flam Brothers would be likely to be the ones to do something like that. I see. Gemma, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the Mana Fortress. You mean the one that destroys the world in that fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's Mana Seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know, Gemma. I don't know. Gemma, see the king of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right, I'm on my way. 
Randy, make your way to the cave called Gaia's Navel. The dwarves in the cave are renowned for their craftsmanship with weapons. They, must, they may know somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. And there goes a brave knight. But wait, I... I sense that you're hesitant about all this. Still hesitant about all this. This is a bit sudden. Being cast out of my village was bad enough. But this... Brandy, what are you so scared of? I could say the Sword of the Fortress, but it's just... Two different set of lines. I can adjust this music if need be. Whoops, I did the thing again. Yeah. Okay, I think this should be fine. Ooh, sorry. Okay. Is that better? So, let's say the sword. Or no, wait, the fortress. Yes, the fortress is something to be greatly feared. Eons ago, the ancients used the Mana Fortress in their final battle to control the world. But even with all their vast technological wonders, they cannot control Mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the last of our race from utter extinction. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor Mana, swearing never to repeat the tragedy of the past. And now the Sword of Mana has chosen you to carry out its destiny. Yet it seems to have used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me or power? Hmm. Why me? Why did it choose me? I'm no one important. Just an outcast orphan. Just an outcast orphan. Yeah, they kind of tell the uh, backstory right away. It's kind of cut and dry. I'm sorry, Randy, but I honestly don't know. Regardless, you are now the only one that can re-energize it. I'll say no problem. I like to be cooperative. What should I do? Put aside your fears and doubts. You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Who, me? I can't. I just can't. Randy, the Empire must not restore the fortress. You must regain the sword's p power first, or all is lost. What should I do? Oh, well, you already said that. Oh. Yeah, a bit of a repeat. Okay. Well, enough of this. Hold the sword up to the water seed. The magical mana seed. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed when, wherever you are. Our world is eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Sorry, my seat's a little uncomfortable. Take this spear with you. Mana guardians used it long ago. Yeah, we see the spear. The spear is a little bit more powerful than the sword, but not the end. The spear is like the most powerful weapon in the game. <coughs> but it plays a little bit differently than the other weapons. It will grow and remain, regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be what more weapons like it, this is, yeah, like the spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Do you want to save the game? Yeah, I probably should. First, head for Gaia's navel, like Gemma said. Find someone to reforge the sword with the orb. 
While you're there, try looking for the underground palace and the earth seed. To reach Guy's Naval, head south into the realm of Pandora, then northwest. So dramatic. Bye, Luca. Oh, I should probably say I want to explore a little bit. Nothing on this side. But there is something over here. It is a random dungeon. For whatever reason, I don't know why it's there, but this palace has one. Is it like a jail cell for whatever reason? I don't know. She'll be fine. She can live. She does well on her own. Oh yeah, she probably dash. You press A to dash. But you kind of stop when you hit stairs. Now there's something that we're going to look for a little later, but let's see what goes on over here first. Some force is holding us back. Now us is a little bit premature. Because I don't have my allies yet. Skippy, so rude. I'm gonna approach a scene. I'm going to approach a scene. Oops. Uh, hold on. That only happens if you talk to Dyluck and his soldiers. Welcome to Nikos. Or Nekos. Yeah, let's see who Neko is. He doubles the price of items. Need anything? What you got? Really? Yeah, what a little hippie. 30 GP per night would be perfect now. No. But he can save our game. No, apparently I can't buy anything at the moment. Let me just see. Uh, is there really nothing? Oh! I picked stay. That's why I didn't see the shop. Perfectly priceless. Items available. Oh, that's one sentence. Whoops. I need this. For whatever reason. It does me good. It's a wristband. Yay wristbands. Now you might remember, this is like 10 or 15 GP. Here it's 20. He likes to price things up. No, I don't need anything else. Be seeing you. There we go. One little bit of defense point. One little defense point. I have never played Beyond the Beyond, but I know a lot of games do make a beck and call to the Secret of Mana engine. Hey, one hit. Here comes the scene. Oh, not that one. It's that stupid flower every freaking time. It's just there on purpose to make you go, whoops, I got it. Hey, level three. Help! Oof. Suddenly out of nowhere, goblins. Yeah, getting boiled alive, that's nice. Help, ouch. You. Do not move, just stay still. You are very lucky. You are going to be our main dish. Help, let me go. You look delicious. Oh! Shriek, why is Shriek? I always wondered that, Shriek, why? Hey, the dancing has already begun. Let's join in. 
Now who is this? We'll find out. Hey. Hey you. Look behind you. There you go. What on earth are you doing, you idiot? Please help me. Shh, quiet. And I got pulled out of the pot like it was nothing. Let's get out of here. I eat my life, but what are you doing here? I've been searching for my fiance. For a second, I thought you were him. A case of mistaken identity, huh? Oh well, I guess you'll have to do. Now wait a minute. I'm only joking. Look, I'm in a hurry. Yeah. Some of these characters are a little bit snarky. A little bit witty. Better get back to your home. It's dangerous out here. Later. Hey, wait! She left without even telling me her name. Yeah, she does that. Danger! Beware of goblins! Yeah, a lot of good that does after the fact. But you wouldn't have known about it if you... But uh, you wouldn't have hit the goblins if you didn't talk to Dyluck or his soldiers. But you would see this and not know why. Now you gotta be careful with these little, uh, what are they called again? Mushbooms. Mushbooms! They can knock you out with that little mushroom spray. But you gotta get them first. Like that. Like blammo. Ah, uh, nothing I can do right here. It's a flower! No, it's not. It's a... Lullabud. I haven't looked at these names in so long, so I'm gonna be using that target thing to know the names. Hopefully there's nothing bad in here. Medical herb won't fit. Water Palace, Poto's Village, and Kingdom of Pandora. Oh yeah! You know the thing I said about backtracking? Well, here's a cannon travel. We're back where we were. Now I want to go through Pandora. It's been a while. Like I said. And there we go. Knock you out. Like that. Like so. One big hit. Blammo. Ding dong. Ding. He's dead. Oh, well, you got me. Just barely. There we go. I knocked him out. Let's see what's in here. Medical air bone fit. Well, that would have been a lot more useful if I didn't have to spend money. Okay, gotta watch out for these guys. They'll attack with a... Uh, with little notice. They're so volatile. I swear to God. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Now that's a little... That's Mr. Spring. He makes you go up to the next level. Because there was a little ledge up there that I, where I was. And that's a way to get a shortcut. Candy won't fit. Oh well. So, here's a reminder that if you want to chat, go to the Discord linked in my Twitch profile. Whoa, hold on. Link to my Twitch profile and in other places. I link it on my Tumblr posts, so it's like, hey, if you want to join the chat, join the buggy stream chat. So that's where you can get yourself involved, but if you just want to hang out, there is general discussion that you're introduced to, but regardless, go to Discord, excuse me, Discord.gg, I combined the G with the Discord, Discord.gg, F-A-H-7-M-M-E. And you will be a part of the hive. <laughs> like that, that happens. But you gotta be careful because this can be a repeat issue. If you stick by the enemy. Oh yeah, and getting up can sometimes do damage. I was like, you knock him out of the way. So, knocking him out of the way is kind of fun. But... 
if you want to donate or subscribe. I also have links that are in the Twitch profile at just uh, underscore derama. Twitch.tv slash underscore... Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Dester underscore Dirama. I am talking too fast. Sorry. It's a little bit of my Chicago one kicking in. But I have the donation link in that profile. It goes to Streamlabs. The minimum is $1. If you just want to donate once, go right ahead. If you want to do a monthly donation, I have a Patreon and a Game Wisp. For $1 on Patreon, you are thereby supporting me and helping me make this a living dream come true. A dream of a living come true. But if you want to get into the name list up here and be a patron or a wisp, you just donate $5 and you're a part of the hive in another way. In the stream itself, credited as a patron or wisp. Another thing that you also get on... Excuse me. On Game Wisp is a follow on Twitch from me as well as a Twitter shout-out. So I'll say thank you at Mr. Somebody. Now you have to have your Twitter handle for me to do that. So, it's like $1 or $5. It's a monthly thing. It's Or a one-time thing. It's all up to you. I allow for donations and subscriptions. Please do share, like, follow, and do whatever is needed to have a good time and make sure that we can do this again together. This is Pandora. I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. Sir Gemma of Tasnika is meeting in the castle with our king. Oh, and I wouldn't bother talking to the people in the town if I were you. Why is that? Like a zombie, he says nothing. Let's go to the shop. What do you have? Whoa, a customer, nothing much. Oh, something. Now, Neko had a bit more. This guy has only a couple of things, but you don't know what. So, I don't think we have anything to worry about at the moment. Yeah, we don't have to buy anything at the moment. <clears throat> moment. Sorry. Voice cracking is so flattering. How much is candy? 10 GP. 10 GP and 150 GP. Be seeing ya. Now, I could go to Gaia's Naval, but there is something else I can do here. Something other than talking to some of the people. I mean, you can talk to these people, but they don't say much. Why are you talking to me? I don't know anything. Oh, well, do ya? Don't ya? Don't you know something? Blonde Jeff Foxworthy. And they're going to here. That's a house. But who's here? The master and his daughter are at the castle arranging her marriage. Oh, really? Who is the master? And we go over here, down here. This is awful. It's now where they've lost their will to live. Do you say anything? Nope. I can't buy anything from this guy yet. What's over here? Another house. Help my mama and papa. Well, what's happened to Mama and Papa? Well, kids, they've become zombies! Not like actual zombies, but mental zombies of some sort. Yes, those of you who are in the chat are definitely part of the hive. You will also be given a title right away, being called a buggy. Because everyone's a bunch of friendly buddy buggies. Buggy buddies. Buddy buggy buds. Buddy buggy buds. Nothing. What's down here? Hmm. Nice statue. And these are interesting looking people. 
But this and nothing either. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And what do you say? Nothing. You're just guarding this like it's something important, like something I can't access yet. Okay, let's go to the castle. Let's meet up with Gemma. Now where's a Gemma? Wrong way. Gotta go this way. Don't you ever shut up? Yeah, some of these people are kind of snarky. This is Pandora's castle. Yeah, let's see what's around here. Well, nothing there. Hmm. What's over here? Delic's battle squad went up to the witch's castle, but hasn't returned yet. My life is precious, and this place is dangerous, so I'm quitting there. I mean, moving away. Most of the townspeople and soldiers have turned into zombies. Actually, I've also been assigned to the witch hunt. But I didn't want to get bewitched, so I pretended to be sick. Don't tell anyone. These people are silly. Yeah, that's the little barracks section. Anything to see up here? Not particularly. It's just a ring around the castle. What does he say? This is Pandora's castle. Okay. State in the obvious. Got it. Why are the people in the southern ruins wearing strange masks? I don't know. There's probably some reason for it. Okay, Green Jeff. The Empire attacked us once about 15 years ago. The resulting battle was terrible. The entire army of Pandora was almost completely obliterated. Only the legendary Mana Knight defeating the Emperor in single combat turned the, the tide. The Knight was wounded in fight, but he pursued with the dying Emperor and cornered his army. But the Knight mysteriously went missing, so the Emperor escaped and miraculously recovered. No one knows why. I wonder if Dalek is going to be back soon. He promised he'd play with me then. It's just a ring. <laughs> Have you ever seen an enormous tree called the Mata Tree? Well, I haven't. Well, I wonder if that means anything. The witch up north must be up to no good. People are acting strangely recently. You don't say. This land has had it. It's been cursed by a witch! I sent something evil in the ruins to the south! Sir Elman arranged his daughter's marriage. I feel sorry for her. They should be upstairs now. Yeah. And if you didn't meet with this girl, this scene wouldn't be the way it's going now. She would just walk right through you. Dad, you're impossible. I'm making my own decisions about my life. Hey, it's the guy I saved. Say what? You're a swordsman? Huh? Oh, you mean this. This is great! I didn't... I need your help. I helped you, didn't I? It's your turn. We're going to teach that witch a lesson. We're going to save Tylock. But I've got to go to the guy's navel and, and the under... Later, later! Ah, my neck itches. Sorry. Right, let's go, uh... I'm Randy. Oh, call me. Please name this young lady, because her name in this world is designated by you. But I will also go with the original name. It is Purim. Oh, wait, no, it's Prim. I'm going with the Japanese name. Sorry. Yeah, 
There we go. Okay, you can call me Prim. Prim joined. And now, we can do what we need. Prim. I hate you, Dad. I am not returning to this place, ever. Well, that's one way to just jumpstart your way into life outside of a castle. Or, I don't know. She's got some kind of thing going with this whole royalty knighthood thing. Randy, you're here. I suppose you've seen what happened to the people in town. The current rumors that the witch Eleni is draining people's energy. The ones affected keep going to the ruins in the southern parts of this town. I'll have a look around there. Randy, go on to head to Gaia's Naval. And away he went. The country of Zaznika is our ally, and its citizens are our friends. You, you can't enter. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, I read that. Got the repeat, guys. Well, I entered, didn't I? Oh dear, up to, up to now... Oh, there's no comma. Up to now, this has been such a peaceful country. What a nightmare. The people in my country are acting like zombies. The troops I sent to fight the witch were captured. What? You and Dad made Dalek go to the witch's castle? How dare you try to drive Dalek and me apart? Yeah, it's all about your relationship, isn't it? How rude! Fine, be that way. Let's go, Randy. She's got sass. Expelled from your village? Well, this realm too is having problems. It would probably be best also... Best of you also left this country right away. Yeah, leave the country, not just your village. This is the king's room. This is the first time I've seen the king looking so troubled. And what do you say? This is the treasure house. I must guard it for the knight and the legend. The legend. And down we go. Alright, let's get out of this castle and see about going to either Guy's Naval or... The Witch's Castle. And down we go. Away we go. Excuse me, lady. Excuse me. 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 Excuse. Excuse me. Excuse you, lady. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Now let's go. Over here. And there we go. Get. Oh, that hurt. Ah, shizbit. See, this is what I mean by poison. What you can use is a medical herb. Triple hitter. Booyah. Oh, shizzle bizzle. Shibbity dibbity doo. Ow. Oh, again with the poison. Alright, I should probably get some armor for uh, this little lady. She has that, but nothing else. I should probably go back to that village and probably heal. Cause I'm almost half, I'm more than half dead. Let's equip, let's get some armor, some armor. Yeah, I gotta get that, 
Again, that's 45 GP. Get the hair ribbon. Be seeing ya. Alright, let's get this equipped. And... The wristband. I swear, the trash can looks like it's something Roman. It's like a Roman trash can. I mean, that's what I thought at first, because I thought that the handle was more like a roof, like of like some little temple thing. It didn't directly look like trash at first to me when I was a kid. Um, right. Should probably get to that healing thing. Let's go to the inn! Whoops, wrong way again! It's over here. Want to stay? Help yourself to a bed! Whoa! That'll be 10 GP, buddy! Whew, okay. Nice and cheap. Thing you gotta do? Go to cheap motels. And when you sleep and rest, you're healed! Yeah, that's one of the RPG elements that we all know and love. And this is mainly how you save your game. Yeah. Now, I should probably change weapons, even though it's slightly more powerful. How about you? Want to use a sword? Are you on knuckles? She is a melee fighter. Hmm. 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 Eh, I'll let it go melee for now. But I do need to change her AI. You can change the AI of your allies by going to this little action option. Now you can make them keep away and guard, or approach and guard, or attack. Or you want to be a little cautious, do something like this. And which level? That has to do with weapon level, so when she levels up with a weapon, she can charge her weapon for a stronger attack. Now, let's go this way again. And this spear looks a bit different. Oh well. It's an emulator. Things happen, but it's also the sharpest I'll get for a sprite. Something like that, I don't know. Ah, crud, I missed. Yeah, you can combo. Because comboing is fun. Combo with your allies. Ah. There's a little bit of a wind-up sometimes with that spear. Hey, level four. Hey, that was BS. Hey, it didn't even make an attack. All right, where do I go? It's been a while. It's like a dungeon on top of land. And there we go, smack that guy. And bing, bada, bing, bada, bang, bada, boom. By the by, if you subscribe to Game Wisp, there will be an announcement down below in my stream. Same thing goes for any follows or donations. If you want to donate, go to my Twitch and go to the Streamlabs link, and you can donate as little as a dollar, and it will make a notification with whatever little message you add. Now, I might even need to double check some of the sound settings for that because I haven't seen some notifications in a while, but then again, I'm still kind of a small guy. I don't get notifications that often. I wouldn't exactly expect notifications too often because, well, I'm more or less starting out as my restarting out as myself. The doctor, I'll do him a bit more as far as in character plays, both as myself and with the Points of Pockets gaming group. But for right now, this is kind of me rebuilding my own videos and whatnot before I do more doctor videos, which I know some people want to see. But I just want to do things my, on my own. It, I can't exactly... I don't want to spread myself on a... Like, who's an assistant blog and say, Hey, it's just me, but not as the doctor. I feel kind of awkward doing that. 
But if anyone's like a part of other servers, like Discord servers or other groups, you can feel free to share so long as they allow, like sharing Twitches and YouTubes and whatnot. Okay, see where it said Gloves Level 1 was? That's when you can do this and change her level so she'll charge her weapon before attacking an enemy. And there you go. Now, I don't think she fully charged it, so that was a bit of a weak attack. But you kind of get the idea. It's automatic. You can program it. This game is a customizable AI, but the follow AI isn't always the best. You'll probably find out at some point when I yell at the AI for getting stuck behind something. Any player of The Secret of Mana will remember that the buddies of yours, if not controlled by other players, they'll have a tendency to get stuck in a lot. Like going through here, I would probably go around, and okay, she's falling close enough that she doesn't get caught between the rocks. That's good. Hey, there we go. Ah, good thing that didn't poison me. And there we go, smack that guy. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. So, even if you don't have other players, this still feels a little bit action filled. What's over here? Cow's Naval and Kippo Village, and the Kingdom of Pandora to the south. What's in Kippo Village? This is Kippo Village. Oh, really? My dad owns the store here. Well, let's see what he has in store. Ha ha ha. He looks like the same as every other shopkeeper. Yeah, there's a lot of repeats, men like. This is kind of where it was kind of common to have repeat NPCs. What'll it be? Let's buy! Oh. Better elbow pads. Ooh, this is expensive. I need a chain vest to get my overalls sold. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. I'll get you your kung fu dress shortly. You might be thinking this game's a little bit sexist, but at the same time, when is it gonna be okay to just allow a lady to be feminine? I mean, if I'm a guy playing this game, I don't want to be seeming misogynistic. I'm just stating the fact, like, everyone can be masculine or feminine, doesn't matter, but don't hate on somebody for actually going with their gender. So, let me change the equipment a little bit. Whoops. Uh, here we go. Three... Becomes ten! And I'll be needing this for, cer for certain. And that becomes two. The arm accessory is the weakest accessory. The body accessory is the strongest accessory. Or equipment. Sorry, I should be saying equipment, not accessory. But, I don't know. The arm, the arm equipment is the weakest. Body equipment's the strongest. And head equipment's in the middle. So it's like, you're getting a bit of a mix. Depending on how much you can spend. Whoops, I forgot to change it. Now, like I said, Secret of Mana is my childhood favorite game, so I'll be playing the heck out of this for a while. At least until it gets boring. But I'm not gonna like replay, 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 because there's only minor differences. I'll try and show what I can for like little Easter eggs and whatnot. But not like all of them. Some of that you can find through Google. I mean, some of the things like, I think pressing L and R 30 times, I don't need to do that right away, but it does show the programmer name in my little icon, or in the little, in the, those little charge bars down there, it'll show it on a little left block area where you'd see the numbers. The black area being the weapon level. Oh, whoops, I wanted to sell. Let me sell, dang it. Yeah, you can sell items, too, if you want to make a little bit of money back. 
Yeah. And let's get rid of this. But I can't get an elbow pad for Prim here. Well, I should probably grind just a little bit. To the north is Guy's Navel, a deep cave where dwarves live. They don't appear above ground very often, preferring to live underground instead. Ah, gnomes. You are somehow incorporated in this world, too. The thing I liked about Secret of Mana is that it's fantasy mixed with a little bit of modern here and there. But a little bit more, uh... Oh, hey, it's one of the Cannon Brothers. Cannon Man. This is my home. The missus is upstairs. This is my home. The missus is upstairs. There we go. That's a better voice. My husband's brothers all look alike. Yeah. Not like that's a common feature in classic RPGs. Uh, anything to see up here? No, nope, just a nice tree. A pleasant, quaint little village in between. Let's just use the inn real quick. And you might notice, the price gradually goes up. I kind of choose to stay in the cheap places because you save the GP. And this game was really nicely balanced despite being like cut in half. And I'll let you know when the game starts skipping around in the story a little bit. I mean, it's it's great up to a certain point, but then it's like, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this, and then end game. Like right here, you actually have a little bit of progression. It's a little more concise for progression, but it's not like jumping from palace to palace like the second half of the game is. I mean, you still get a little bit of dialogue in between, but it's shorter than what you're getting from here. Attack! Attack! Do it! There you go. Yeah, don't get shot. Uh, nope. I need 90. I want to get an elbow pad at least. Yeah, I'll just do the quick hits because that's the quickest way to get through it. Hey, there we go. Hey, I love doing that. Now, I am curious how the battle system will be different. I mean, will there be like less of a charge or what? Because I'm sure from what the screenshot I saw, a lot of the attacks are still the same. At least with the sword I saw, because you got that forward slash. And if you are just arriving to the stream and wondering if you're getting joining if you're gonna be joining in with the chat, go to the Discord linked at Discord or not Discord. Go to the Discord link to my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash jester underscore derama. Or if you have Discord open already, just type in what you see down way over here. That little Discord.gg slash FAH7MME. And join the Buggy Stream Chat channel. And you will be joining the guys below that are making the comments. Now, it's not as integrated as Twitch or YouTube, but if I'm going to be streaming this at more than one place, I kind of want to be sure that people have at least one place to meet so I'm not, like, tailoring the chat to one area over another. But I do want to make my Discord chat more involved. I want it to be a nice community where people can join, share, talk, and do whatever. There's even a channel for help in emergencies if you have an emergency, and we can... I, Hopefully, get you the advice you need, and give a little bit of guidance. But otherwise, we will say, use emergency services if it really is very serious. Prim reaches level 4. Ah, there we go. Hey. Eh, there we go. Oh. Ah, oh, oh, eh, oh, oh, oh. I think I'm getting too deep. I'm kind of losing track 
Because you can grind in this game and it's still a little bit entertaining because you've got to mess around a little bit. Oh, I have more than enough. Come on, Prim. We gotta move. Uh, which way did I go? Yeah, that way. I'm just so used to this game, it's kind of like second nature just playing it. Damn it, I missed. Hey, there we go. You take care of that while I open this treasure chest, Prim. Hey, I didn't, I didn't even get fainted. I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even get knocked unconscious. I can't English today, what the frick? Oh, hey, 14 GP, that's good. That's nice. That's helpful. Yeah, ponytails, it's making my neck itch. You can't see my ponytail because it's behind my head and I'm looking at the camera. I had it resting in between my neck and my scarf. And with that happening, my ponytail was rubbing up against my neck, making it feel really itchy. So, if some of you are wondering about the old streams, I will be working on getting those up starting tomorrow. If not me editing tonight or queuing these things up tonight, so they'll, they'll be showing the coming days. So what you're seeing right now is the very latest and live, and me being at my most energetic so far. How much was that? 350, not yet. Okay, okay. All right, let's get her equipped. Uh, which one? What? Oh, yeah, I was going the right way. It doesn't make much of a difference, but it does. And go this way. Get rid of that wristband. Now, I would say I'd be willing to grind to get that dress, but we can kind of get that GP as we travel to the next story element. The next part in the plot, or subplot. Yeah, this game does have subplots, which is another thing of why it's also uh, engaging. Because you have your main plot and some side plots, but you don't stray too far from the main plot, so it's like, you need to do the super important thing. But this is an adventure, so you work up to it. You're not just gonna be like, hey, here's the thing you need to do, and you can go right to it. I'm not a fan of that. If you're gonna give me an end goal, at least have me work up to it, and I just say, hey, yeah, you can do this right away, and it's there, and it's always nagging you by being there. This, it works up to its detrimental dark moments. It works up to the big moments where it's like, oh, this is happening. Oh, surprise, it's a little bit of a twist here. This game was what set me up on, well, my writing and games. This is the game that got me into wanting to make video games. And I am planning to make video games because my interest in making video games is coming back. And I just want to try and figure out how to make this stuff. I mean, I have some stories in mind. I might not be the best writer, but I can create things. I can be a content creator. I can be a developer in some form or another. I just gotta know what to do and where to find help and who to work with because I know it'll be more of a team effort than anything else. It's okay to have an idea and some know-how, but a team that you can work with and strike a good balance, that's a bonus. And ultimately, super helpful. And cool, because once you get a team, you can work together on other projects, share projects, and just have a whole lot of fun. But that's kind of production stuff, you know. Even like productions, if you make, if you know what you're doing, and you have communication, you're set. Now you have to remember, I'm gonna approach something here really soon that has to do with a little splinter point in the plot. Cut up, I didn't charge up. I didn't uh, cool down. Yeah, this is the early form of cooldowns.
Hey, there we go. Slap in the face. Hey. He's gone. He gone. Yeah, dodging like a mother trucker. Hey, there we go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Kicking his butt. Boom shakalaka laka. Boom shakalaka laka. Boom shakalaka. A town would know what I'm talking about. I mean rhythm render. Sorry, you have di you guys have different usernames and different nicknames. Sometimes I just don't know what to refer to. For sake of clarification, rhythm render is a Tim. And rhythm is in the bug hive chat. And away we go. Oh no! It's a trap! Ugh. Frickin' poison. Now what's over in this cave? Ah. There's Neko. Meow, we need meat in a strange place. Brr. Need anything? Meow, busy travelers. I'll even save the game. Hoo hoo hoo. Arrow. Let's save. Just for safekeeping. Ah. Sorry, I was trying to look at the stream chat and move at the same time. Now, here's a, here's a stopping point. Hey, this isn't the way to the witch's castle. Where are you going, anyway? Now, you can choose to go ahead on your own by saying the underground palace. Or you can go with her and go to the witch's castle. Now, this isn't totally linear because you get to go things about it a different way. If you go ahead, she will go ahead into the pathway to the witch's castle but she'll be stopped by a couple of werewolves. Or werewolf looking me dudes. And you have to kick their butts and they're a little hard. But you're able to survive if you know how to dodge. So, for sake of just going with what she was wanting me to do, I'll follow her over to the witch's castle. Random note, if you're wondering how I'm playing this, I'm using an Xbox 360 wired controller. It works very nicely with my computer and I never have to worry about batteries. Also, I can easily program it to be like an SNES controller and it's still comfortable. Ah, what am I doing? I was going the opposite way. Let me hit you, damn it! Why are you floating so high? This game has some bugs. Oh yeah, he's on next level. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, we almost have enough. Let's whack this bug. Oh, she got whacked. Oh, for God's sake! You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to slap that bug. I'm going to slap it. I'm going to slap it so hard. It's going to be so slapped. So hard. Like a fly swatter getting... Like, like, a, like a fly swatter slapping a freaking bug. going to freaking fly swat it with a spear. I have a shishka bug. A mother trucking shishka bug. Bug. Hey, what are you doing down here? Hey, this isn't right. What? Hey, hey, that was cheating. Come on, Prim. Let's move. Yeah. 
Hey, level up. This is kind of, it's a grind that's not making you stay in one area too much because you just kind of need to go around the area. It's an explorative grind. Where is that bug? There's a lullabud. But where is the beef? Where is the beef? Where is the beef? What is it called again? A busby. It's a busby. Yeah, it's a busby. It's a very buzzy bee. Let's go down this way. As we travel through the waterfall, up to our mouths. The waterfall areas. Now, I, I the only slight disappointment I have for the Secret of Mana remake is that it looks like the graphics are limited to PS Vita levels. But that does mean with lower end graphics, more people can play them on lower end computers. But then again, having the option for a higher definition versus lower definition would be nice. But who's to say there won't be a higher definition version of Secret of Mana Remake at some point or another? I would love to see how far this can go graphics wise. But you have to remember, this game is also simplistic in appearance, and if you actually look up some of the designs, there are original clay figure designs of these characters, so it's like the newer version is recreating the style, but still staying in the Mana series art style. It's a little different from the original, but it's pretty close in the remake. Let me just knock out these guys real quick. There we go. Now let's get that item. What'll it be? Let's buy. Yeah, got enough. Now, let's give Prim the Kung Fu dress. 10 or 17. It's good to keep her protected. Yeah, no new head items though. Let's sell that, what was it called again? Not that, Kung Fu suit. She's a fighter. She's a fighting girl. The, Prim is a good example of a powerful female character. She's confident. But she does have a little bit of that cheesy trope of needing to get her boyfriend. Eh, hey, but I don't know. This is kind of a little typical, a little cheesy, but unique in its own charming way. I should probably buy... Oh, I can't. Oh, well. Let me double check my equipment to make sure we have everything we need. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, I should have checked my items. I got four. Eh, I'll be okay. Excuse me. Let's heal. And then proceed to the witch's castle. Or at least attempt to. Yeah, save the game. And we're good! So, now that we're well protected, and well equipped, let's go. Free money.
Yeah, that hurt, didn't it? Yeah, you gotta hit flowers, bugs, and mushrooms in this area. This seems so cutesy in theory. Yeah, work with your teammates. And he's out. Yeah, this game grinds, but it goes quickly. Because you and, an, you and a partner, or partners, can easily knock out enemies. Speaking of allies, I am looking forward to the capability of online play for the Secret of Mana remake, because that would mean I could play the game with my father again. That's something I wanted to let you guys know, is that I played this game with my father when I was a little kid, and it's the, one of the fondest memories I have of playing a game with my father. My dad's a cool dude. He's a bit of a joker like myself. I'm a jester, but he's a joker. He's also got the nickname of Satan because he makes people have fun beyond what they're used to sometimes. Because some people might get drunk, but they'll have a great time because my dad makes, sh makes sure people are having a great time no matter how they are. And make sure everyone has a good time. My dad's an awesome dude. And originally he played here as Randy. I would have played as Prim. Now I want to also add Prim has healing or buffing magic. Gee, I wonder which classes I play in first person shooters. It's not like I play a healer in Overwatch or Team Fortress 2. No, I don't do that. Haunted forest. And guy has navel. Whoops, stop gun. Whoop, whoop, no, don't want to do that. I pressed the Xbox button and it did some Windows things. I didn't want to do anything Windows wise. I wanted to play the game. Like, jeez. Oh, I guess I didn't need to sleep after all. I could have just saved the game, but eh, it's not a huge deal. I still gained more GP. And here's another cannon travel guy that'll take you to the Water Palace or Pandora. So he's there for shortcuts. Or his brothers. He and his brothers are there for shortcuts. Dude, what are you doing here in the open? There's monsters. Like, what possessed you to stay outside of a village and go where monsters are? Let me talk to you before I cut you. Let me talk to you, damn it! Oh yeah, thanks for the obvious. There are many monsters in Gaia's navel. I saw the floodwaters sweep some kid into it. That kid? Oh yeah, pay attention. They're gonna be important. That kid. Into the hauntest forest we go. And here, I'm gonna switch to a sword, because that's how I get into some of these pens. And you need a more powerful weapon. One that has reach. Yeah, AI can do you some good sometimes, but then it does that. Like, yeah, 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 I just go forward and you somehow randomly get stuck because your pathfinding goes, whoops! Ah, get over here! I need to cut you! Alright, let's go. If I stand at an X point, if I stand diagonally, I'll never get hit. Because this game is very, is very prominent with its only four direction attack. Get up, down, left, right. With some area uh, attack. Depending. Yeah, you just gotta make sure you dodge. Now this game has its own challenges. It can take time getting used to just playing like a gorilla with gorilla tactics. <laughs> oh crap! Well, they want my perfect health. Meow, we need to meet in a strange place. Purr. Need anything? 
me all busy travelers. I'll even save the game. Wow. Yes. The haunted forest. But can you get me any particular items? Eh. Uh, well, that's probably useful for someone else, but nothing I can use here. I'm not buying from you when you're overpriced. Shizzle bizzle. Your shingle bingle. Your shaken nut stirred taco. I don't know where I'm I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm rambling with insults. And trying to make up insults and swears. Because if I'm gonna be playing as the doctor again, I have to be sure I'm used to not swearing. And making up swears just gets a little bit more entertaining than anything else, because outright shang shang shit is just kinda bland, dank, and boring. We won't be able to cut through this without an axe. Cut this without an axe. How do you know it's an ass axe? I'm not an ass, an axe. Oops. Prim, I've heard there's a dwarf blacksmith in Guy's Naval. Maybe some good weapons there. We better go to Guy's Naval first. Yeah, that's a little inconsistent here. We just went there, but we're needing to go through here. Don't. Yeah. Move! Yeah, sometimes enemies can kind of trap you with their attacks. Hey, gotcha! And there we go. Now, pardon me a moment. I'm going to check the Twitch Twitch stream to see if there's any communication there because I want to make sure that everyone's getting incorporated into the bug hive. You know, give me just a moment as my controller slips down my lap. Just a moment. Just a little moment. Oh, nope. Nope. Don't do that. Okie dokie. Who's the viewer? Oh, there's three of you on Twitch. That's cool. It's good to have you. But how many of you on YouTube? Let me see. Give me another moment. Ah, huh, two of you are watching from YouTube. Nice. Okay. Let me get back to the thing. So that we may have some more fun. And here we go. Almost like it's seamless. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, crap. Just as you can combo enemies, I mean, yeah, enemies can combo you. Shizzle. One. There we go. Ow. Oh, crap. I need to heal. That should be fine. Oh. You're a jerk. 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 I'll just heal myself in case. 100. Oh, well, that did something. Oh, whoops. I went up to a side path that was able to complete another path I needed to get to. Oops. And there we go. Hey! Level up! You did it! Um, where do I go? I think I messed up. Ah, uh, no I didn't. Um, oh! That would have been for the area where I need to get past. With an axe.
Hey, no, you jerk. Friggin, friggin, what's his face? Friggin Chobin Hood. Chobin, Chobin, I don't know. Well, assuming that that dialogue Prim had about needing to go to Guy's Naval first, hopefully that's something that she'll be consistent with. Hey, level seven. Broke a hundred. You see what I mean about grinding that actually doesn't feel necessarily like grinding? It's like you have to backtrack. You're not gonna stay in one area totally forever unless you want to. This is a game that was also open world. Well, partially open world at first, but more open world towards the rest of the game. Towards the second half. Oh, you little butter munch. You are gonna get slapped so hard. Oops, I'm way too ahead. Oh, there it is. There was an imposter. Hey, 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 you're in the way. You're in the way. Buddy, buddy, you're in the way. Why you gotta be in the way? Why do you have to be in the way? Ugh, this seat, I swear to God. Oh, 14 GP, how nice. Are we actually gonna do the thing? Are we actually gonna, you know, go to the right area? There we go. Ah, a little bit of lag. Emulators still lag sometimes. Okay. There we go. Another casual reminder, you might be noticing those little swiping links down below. Or little swiping usernames with icons. If you're familiar with any of that social media, I don't need to quite list it off. You can just easily go there and find me and interact with me. Otherwise, the best place to reach me is through my Discord server. Join the bug hive once more. Or just say hey, see what's up. Hang out, maybe play a game. We'll figure out something. It's a hangout. It's a nice chill hangout server. Now you better not be doing a thing. Okay. So you knew. Oh. Yeah. Balloon makes you be frozen for a short moment. It's annoying to deal with because it leaves you vulnerable. It's a goblin! Now, uh, green drop. Oh, kid goblin, sorry. Green drops multiply. But only up to three. Like this, watch. Now here we go. Sometimes you won't get past it. And sometimes treasure chests run. No! Attack, dang it. Attack. Wait. Am I cheating with treasure chests? I am. I found an exploit. Oh my god. If you get treasure chests, they knock out the whole three enemy limit. Medical herb won't fit. It won't fit. Why won't it fit? 
Oh. Ah. I'll be fine. I'll survive. I was thinking of saving, but I've played this game long enough to survive. I know what I'm doing. I just gotta keep an eye on my health. And here we go. Blemo. In your face. Don't wake the other goblin. Whatever you do, don't wake the goblin. Okay. Hmm, looks like a puzzle room, doesn't it? Yeah, see? Vulnerable to attack. But sometimes it doesn't always get you. You might notice the music cuts out a little bit. That's kind of a part of the programming. Sometimes different sound effects knock out different instruments. It kind of adds variety to the sound of the game. I'm still super excited to probably hear the new soundtrack, too. I mean, I, not probably, I will hear the, sound, hear the new soundtrack. Man, I freaking love Secret of Mana. Push you out of the way. And do that. The skull activates. But what did it do? Well, I don't know. I don't know. What's it gonna do? Yeah, we're just gonna knock these guys around a little bit. Oh, Sometimes little glitches cause your allies to drag. Oh, you biscuit. You butter biscuit. Cut you down. Like, how dare you? How dare you balloon me? How dare you? Oh, that goes nowhere. Oh no, you work the kid goblin. Oh, crap. No, you can't. No, you don't. No, you don't. There we go. Kicking butt and taking names. What bat? What kind of bat you talking about? Hey, there we go. What do I get here? Magic rope. The magic rope puts me at the entrance of any dungeon. This technically counts as a dungeon. God dang poison needles. Every frickin' time. Well, this is fantastic. Hey! Now these guys spawn. Blammo. There we go. So yeah, just, you know, casually knock out these baddies, monsters, whatever. I mean, it's quite a contrast from Undertale because you choose to save the monsters. Not just genocidally kill them repeatedly. But then again, these monsters are evil monsters. 
the monsters in Undertale are mostly good monsters. Or misdirected monsters. Misguided, that's the word, not misdirected. Well, let's get Prim leveled up. Can you get knocked out yet, bud? Dang it. Yep, just gotta slap these drops. Dang it. Yeah, this is gonna keep going on if I keep staying around here. There we go. Hey, I did it. Oh, shoot, wrong way. There we go. Gotta go through the tunnel. The Tunnel of Wonders. Oh, I should have mentioned there's a little bit of dialogue for Prim if you go through that uh, special entrance that Dalek and his soldiers went through. Saying, simply just saying, you need a whip. Because that's what they need to jump over a certain gap. Hey, here we go again. Hey, good times. Let's do this again. Uh, come on. Yeah. I did. Yay for bouncing treasure chests. Uh, let's go this way. Huh. This looks like an entrance or something. Why is it cut off? I do not know. Let us explore to find out. A skull? That must be a switch. Oh my god. A switch that drops something huge. And here we go. To the underground village. These are unusual looking gnomes. They have orange beards. You can only see their beards and eyes. Well, beards, mustaches, and eyes. You can hear rumblings from somewhere even deeper than here. Sounds like digging. Now this is the crack. That's gonna mean something later. My oh my, are you from the surface? A while ago, a sprite child was washed down here. It's doing magic tricks. This is the village of dwarfs. There's always someone to greet you and say, This is the name of the town. This is the town you landed in. The underground palace? That's been buried for ages. There isn't any way into it at the moment. There have been so many small earthquakes lately. There was another one. Well, that's not gonna mean anything. Oh. Excuse me. Hey, look, who's this? Say, show me that sword. As covered in rust, it'll break in no time. I'm Watts, the blacksmith. I'll reforge it for you for 100 GP. Please do. Right, wait a sec. Simple, but working blacksmithing. It's done. I've never seen a sword as fun as this one in my life. I hope someday I can forge such a splendid sword. Oh, what on earth? My hammer started to glow. No, wait just a minute. What kind of sword is this? It may sound a bit wild, but it's the mana sword. 
the... It's a long story, but I'm on a journey to restore the sword's power. That's a nice little thing, you actually get dialogue with your second character if you have him with you in this area. Astonishing! Perhaps the power of the Monosaur has seeped into my hammer! Great! I think I'll try to make an axe with this. Come back a little later, okay? Yeah. Now the sword is called... Broadsword. It's a broadsword now. Now there are actually drawings of these weapons in the instruction booklet of Secret of Mana. And they look kind of cool. And I'd, there are illustrations online in general of the different weapons. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just trying to read your puns there, Rhythm. Shout out to Splasher Harmony who missed the romantic twist. May the net hold so they miss no more. Okay, let's go here. What do you have? Here, we can actually buy things. Hold on, let me check something. Now let's get two of these. They're power wrists. If it's more expensive, it's more protective. I'll get a spiky suit. Anything for that? Nah. Now I'm trying to remember. Wasn't the... Armor weaker? I believe it was. Yeah, down to ten. But, we can hit this up to four. And get this equipped over here. Seven. Ten to thirteen. And the girl still has more body protection than me with the kung fu dress. So let's sell. There we go. Get rid of this chain vest. Drop these. And these. So yeah, let me put my leg up a little bit. Anyways, let's move on out. We got the armor we need. Now we're more protected. Let's just sneak over here. Oh look, two pathways. I wonder what happens if I go right. Oh. I see. You're blocking me. <laughs> Welcome to the Dwarf Village. Have you been next door? There are many curious things in this village. Why not take a look? An elder gnome who looks kind of badass with that armor of his, or at least his helmet. Hey, you're, wait a second. You're an elder, aren't you? Step right on in. It's the Dwarf Village's world famous exhibit hut. It's not much of a hut. Elder? Me? Nah. I run a show. Wanna see it? It'll be 50 GP, my friends. Let's pay. Since we can afford it. The show's just starting. First, cast your eyes on this rabbit man. The only one in the world. Take one rabbit and one man, and it's rabbit man. Hey you, pipe down. I'm now presenting an actual and very rare sprite child. Please help me! Yes, folks, it's pure tragedy. Weep as you hear his story. This poor child has a 50,000 GP debt to pay off. Sounds like my college debt. It's here, working off the debt bit by bit. Oh, please, gentle people. Please help it. Even 100 GP will help. 
Well, I can afford it. And there is different dialogue if you can't afford this. It'll, you'll get sassed. But, since we're going with the fact that we have the money, let's do it. Oh, Joy! Thank you! I'll take that! Thank you so much! Yeah, let's sneak on over. Well, how was that? What an actor I am! That guy was even crying! Well, I wasn't too bad myself. Ha! We're going to make a fortune. Hey, how you doing? Hey, did you overhear what we just said? P -p please forgive us. This child really is a spy child. It used to live in the Sprite Forest, but a flood brought it here. I thought I'd help it earn the money to return home. Good idea, huh? Hey, you have to apologize too. Oh, okay, I was wrong. I'm ashamed of myself. I'll return your money. Sorry. Didn't mean any harm. Is anything different here? No. Yeah, that's it for that. So, what to do now? Well, nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Oh, guess what? What on earth? Something's coming. It is... Tropicalo. Oh, damn, right when I thought it dodged it. Yeah, gotcha. Charge. Gotcha. Hey, why you gotta hit me like that? Oh, damn. Destroyed you. Ah, not again. You can't get me. You can't. Oh, he got me. Hey, there we go. Damn it. Oh, come on. You can't get me. I did it. I escaped. I didn't get hit by a pumpkin. Yeah. So dramatic, isn't it? Way to go! Got Spears Orb. You're standing on a spike there, Sprite. Thank you very much. We didn't need your help. Hey, sorry about that. This child received such a shock from drifting here. He lost all his memories. He really is a nice child, though he plays tricks on people sometimes. Come on, old timer, give me a break. Take it easy. Trouble Carlo broke out of a sealed palace. There must be a way into it. Your memory might return if you receive some power from the monoseed. What? Really? I'll go now, right now. Not alone. This palace was buried for eons. There must be tons of monsters by now. Would you be so kind as to accompany this young sprite to the palace? Please, he won't be any trouble. Oh, don't you love options? Okay. What luck? Did you hear that, little one? Hey there, brother. Brother, my name is Randy. A 
Okay, so say, why don't you name me too? That'll make it easier on you. Please name this little sprite. And their original name is Popoy. Popoy? What kind of name is that? Like, uh, nice to meet ya. Yeah, the dialogue's a little 90s. Popoy joined. With a boomerang. Good luck. You can get it to the palace by way of a hole that opened up over there. But there's a lava field. There's a lava field which Elni made to seal the palace. First, you have to go to Elni's castle to ask her to dissolve your seal. Elni used to be a good witch, but she's not anymore. Go north to the haunted forest to find her castle and ask her to open the seal. Here are bow and arrows we found along with the little one. Take them. Received Chobin's bow and arrows. Hey, we stole one of their bows and arrows. One of their, yeah. One of their bows. That reminds me, Watts, the blacksmith was looking for you. Visit his workshop. Oh, I don't know if Flowey would be a good thing. Next time we do the run through, I'll give some silly names. I just wanted to do their real names, so it's like, hey, if you ever want to know the names, here they are. Well, I tried making an axe, but it's no good. Wonder why. Got a boomerang, huh? Wait, I know. Try holding this axe. That's it. Mana power and these weapons won't work unless you hold them. This axe is mighty special. You could even smash a boulder with it. Take it with you for 100 GP. Sure. There should be more mono weapons to find. Bring them to me. They need to be reforged to release any mana received from the orbs. And only I can do it. Now let me show you a shortcut. Yay, shortcuts. This will make it a lot easier for you. I need to reforge something. Let's make this something better. It's now a heavy spear. Heavy spear. Yeah, 37. Hmm, I wonder. Let's go with a bow for the little dude. But yeah, this playthrough is just like the original playthrough. It's like a, it's like a the nice playthrough. The next one we could just sass the game if we want to. Oh right, I should probably do something about his armor. You have no helmet. You have a robe. A midge robe. That's not sizest. No. Okay, let me double check. Okay. So if we get a spiky suit for the little Popoy, I'll go from there. Ooh, that hurts a little bit. Oh no, don't want to do that again. And this is for your head. Let's get you re-equipped. Five, thirteen, and four. Let's do a sail. Nope. Yay, small amount. Okie dokie. Now we should be set to go. Let's get out of here 
and proceed to the haunted forest. Nico. No, we meet in a strange place. Purr. Need anything? Meow, busy travelers. I'll even save the game. Let's save. Yeah. Did it. Let's see if I can look at the different stats. Nope, that's not it. Oh, yeah, I can change it. So what level is Popoy? Oh, level one. Well, I think we should go to the Haunted Forest. And now we get to have fun with the AI. Where are all the enemies? Oh, there they are. Hey, there we go. Moving on. It's like you're driving a truck with these allies. So you get your allies pretty early in game. It's an adventure. Hey, not fair. I tried to get you, but you had to do that to me. Why you gotta do that to me? It is Neko. Sorry, I don't say Neko enough. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, let me get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, right. I need you to be more approach. You gonna attack? You gotta stop letting yourself get hit like that, man. Oh boy, why you gotta let yourself get hit by the Chobin? Hold on, let me do this. Ah, crap. Yeah, it's the fun thing about this, is you can also quickly switch characters. And let's get that chest. Um. God damn. Where's the other Chobin? Meow, we meet in a strange place, brr. Need anything? Let's save. Now we're in the haunted forest. Oh, now you do a thing. And we got you leveled up there, po' boy. You'll do fine. Hey, there we go. Now to change weapons. Thirty. Thirty-four. And, okay, nothing here. Okay, this was the thing that I connected when I stepped in that switch. It connected these two cliffs magically.
Um, oh, no, oh, 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 yeah, you gotta dodge, oh, oh, we gotta look out, oh, 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 no, don't, no, you don't wanna get hit, oh, no, you don't, oh, no, there it is. There we go. Got slapped. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Here's that little area that I was talking about earlier. There's a gap which requires a whip to magically and somehow jump across from that little water palace entrance that you saw where Dialok and the soldiers entered. We're getting deeper into the forest now. Yeah. Boom shakalaga. And the mushroom goes down. Why do you gotta get hit? Hey, now I get level two finally. Oh, whoops. Well, let me check something. What's your action? Well, I could've... Oh! A couple enemies to whack. Get that treasure chest. Poison needles again! Curses! <laughs> yeah. Spirit is level two. Yeah. Poor boy reaches level five. Randy Lynch is level seven. Oh. Yeah, this was. Yeah, that guy that was running towards me. That was the werewolf. Would have been two of them blocking Prim if I had to go back for Prim, had she had left at the underground castle cave. Underground cave, whatever. Ah, uh, no! I've been moogled! Come on! Ah, not again! Damn it! Why you gotta do that? Ugh! Good lord! Oh yeah, I'm going the correct way. I totally forgot! Gotcha. Let me run down this way. Go this way. You know, at some point I'll probably want to speed run Secret of Mana one way or another. If it's possible. Yeah, this obscure pathway. Hey, muggled again. Moogles are not the same as Mogs. Yeah! Arrow reaches level 1. As changes action to support that. Level 6 too, nice. Open the door. Oh, come on! I shouldn't get so close. Oh, yeah, they can stop your power up annoyingly. Oh, what the hell? I did the thing. Now I can use a medical herb, but this wears off. Oh, 
wait for it. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Let me kill you. As morbid as that sounds. Yeah, let's attack the chair that's on the table. Yeah, a haunted, haunted chair. The chairs are alive! Well, that was a waste. Oh, come on. Bull crap. There. Oh, come on. Gotta whack him. Yeah, level seven of a pole boy. No worries, man. That's over here. Chairs. Oh, you frickin' blocked me. Gonna charge it. I'm gonna charge it. I'm gonna charge it. Yeah. I charged it. Hey, there we go. Barrel! No, not doing two of you at once. I'll knock you out. He's already dead, you can't cure him. There you go, you're getting hit. You're getting your butt kicked. No full moon tonight. Question mark? Mrs. Potts is in the pantry. We've come to help. Oh, ah. Where's Dialog? What? Um, maybe with the witch? Excuse me. It's hopeless. These guys seem like zombies. Just like the people in Pandora. You can bet the witch is behind this. Are you going to witch's lair? Go up to next floor. When three people step onto platform, uh, bridge. Platform? Let's go see it. Yeah. Ella, can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No. Neko. Meow, I get caught per need anything now. Meow, I'm busy parameters, I'll even save the game. Yeah, let's save. Even though I know I should heal. But I'm sure we can survive. I just need to level up a little bit. This is in the way I need to grind. Ow. Shit. Shit! Good thing I saved. There. Return the favor. 
Hmm. Dang it. There we go. Hey, level up. I just need to do a couple more level ups and we'll try to go from there. Give me just a moment. Save. Let us be saving. Let's do a little more grinding. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, that hurt. Yeah, Popoy reaches level eight, and we got to level ten. Okay, let's save. Yeah, let's save and save and save. Oh wait, not yet. Unfortunately, I need to buy some chocolate so I can survive. Making me waste all my money. Yeah, there we go. 300 GP. I'll get one. Let's save us again. Meow, busy travelers. I'll even save the game. Around. There we go. Let's kick some butt. Enemies to fight. How far do I go? Oh, knocked his butt down. Hey. Oh, nice. Triple hit. Kick their butts. Oh, jeez. Well, thanks. Chocolate out of nowhere. Let's get these guys kicked. Kick a chair's butt. Though it's kind of hard to sense the seat's the butt. You gotta, like, slam your heel on it. There we are! Oh, hey! Check this out! 44 GP! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Money! Yep, you're going down. Now, is it the middle door or the left door? It's the middle door. And we'll just whack these guys another time. You're healing an invisible body. And let's go forward. Around. Oh, jeez. Walked right into it. Why you gotta dodge? Sliding walls? What madness is this? Yeah, I keep feeling excited to see how this will look in the 3D. Music changed, didn't it?
This game remixes itself. <laughs> There's Eleni, the witch. Eh, let's try and survive. Phew, what nice little children you are, barging in here like this. Your regret for disturbing my work. Oh, my. got a little bit of Neko in there. Allow me the pleasure of sending you to Thanatos. Dialogue, Eleni, what have you done with him? No need to pout, my pretty. All I did was send him to the ruins in Pandora. My magic didn't seem to be working too well on him. He's unusually resistant. Thanatos that found that curious, so I sent the kid to Pandora so he can check in out himself. Who's Thanatos? Who's Thanatos? He's the head of a secret organization that intends to overthrow the kingdom. Ridiculous. How could you possibly overcome the entire army of Pandora? <laughs> it's really quite easy, my dear. So Thanatos has already drained the energy from most of the foolish people in Pandora. All that's left is for Thanatos to storm the castle from the ruins with his new loyal subjects. No, Sir Gemma would be killed. Could be killed. Speaking of death, would you kindly fit yourselves to my cute little pet, Spikey? And she dances away. Now this is where we get a nice steep difficulty. I need to borrow your thing. Oh, jeez. Ah, this is great. I probably should have leveled up my bow. Well, this is how I cheat. I why why oh jeez yeah this is gonna turn out great oh boy stop getting in the damn way Oh, great. Well, that's grand. I gotta heal both of them. Okay, that was Prim I healed. Hey, don't do that, my friend. And the tiger's been beat. You just gotta know how to use guerrilla tactics. Ooga booga. And that's how you win with playing three characters at once. Boomerang Zorb. Sweet. Ah, the cheesy victory music. Eh, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. 
the source of my magic used to be from herbs that once grew in the forest. In this forest. But when they withered, I was desperate to find a way to keep my power alive by any means. Thanatos appeared and offered me his power if I helped him persuade people to join him. But the lust for power blinded me to what was really happening. From now on, I'll simply be a normal elderly lady and live peacefully. If you're looking for that other kid, he's at the ruins south of Pandora. You can take the contents of these two treasure chests. I don't need them anymore. Could you please get rid of the lava block in the path to the underground palace? You need to use the magic of ice on that orb near the entrance. But I just don't have enough magical power left to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much. There's strike and rhythm. Found 50 GP. And got a whip. What is more powerful? 29, 30. Um, oh yeah, those are my only ranged weapons. Take this whip. And all the enemies are gone. Whoops, wrong way. I wonder. Can't use magic rope here. Oh well. It was worth a try. Let's go down and get out of this castle. So close. Dalek is alive. We have to go. We have to get to Pandora. Randy, can you hear me? Come immediately to the water palace. That was Luca. Now what's the matter? I'm sorry, Evan, but I've got to go find out. I... I understand. Tell you what, how about I go with you to the Water Palace? I'm worried about Dalek, but I can't save him alone. I'll accompany you, and in return, you can help me rescue Dalek and Pandora later. Yippee! I'm coming along! You can count on me! Good music, though. Whip. Ah, crud. Gotta switch. Ah. Nothing here to worry about. Oh, right. I need to make his. Whoop. Alright, over here. Well, now that we're out of that boss situation, Popo, you need to kinda. Whoops. Get yourself moving. Any chest? No. Over here. There we go. That's a Busby. What are you doing out here? And I'll whip you one more time. And there we go. 34 GP. Oh, yeah. Let's jump the gap. And we're back at the Water Palace. Uh, what do you get? Spear.
to Luca we go. I wish I was rich. Because then I could just have these hangout streams with you guys all the time. I'll restore you. Do you want to save the game? Yes. Undyne, the elemental of water, lives in a cave behind a waterfall east of the palace. Her protective seal on this palace has failed, and I fear she may be in great danger. Normally I'd ask Gemma to take care of this, but he still hasn't returned from Pandora. Please, Randy, find out if Undyne is alright. Well, I will. Yeah, let's resave since we got that dialogue thing done. Oh, you just say that regardless. Okay. Yep, yeah, read that. So, we're hitting that three hour mark, and I need to try and be moderately consistent with my stream time because three hours, I think, is the most people want to go for doing videos, unless I end up doing four hours at some point in the future. But it's about that time to do the little farewell section. <sighs> yes, Undyne. Undine. I'm thinking Undyne from, you know, Undertale. It might be Undine in this case. But yeah, she's a water elemental. It can make sense. It's Undyne. Undine. Whichever. Probably Undyne. But, I want to thank you for those of you who have watched on YouTube and Twitch. This video from the date of August 28th will go up on YouTube in the near future along with the other streams I've had for the past, like, four months. So we'll get to that, and I'm finally getting a schedule for these things, so don't worry. And if you want to follow any of my social media, please go to my Twitch profile, which is Jester underscore Dayrama. After you go to Twitch.tv, of course. But I also have my Game Wisp and my Patreon if you want to donate for a monthly amount. And this monthly amount of donations will help me provide more content in various forms. So the at least you can at least that you're able to Yeah, the thing. Yeah, hi YouTube. <laughs> Strikes is high. Um right, where was I? Um Right. A dollar. The least amount you can donate uh, through a subscription is a dollar, and it'll provide assistance. You can do that through Patreon, or you can just, in general, send a donation to my Streamlabs. Link below and Twitch. But, if you want to have your name above, a Twitter shout-out, and a follow on Twitch, you can go to my Game Wisp, which is Jester underscore Dayrama as well. Also links below on my Twitch. So you can go there, make your donations, subscriptions, it's all up to you on how much you want to spend or give. It's your free will, it's your money. But I only ask a little bit of support if you can. So, other than that, I should say, praise the spurple a little bit. Praise that little spurple over there, right over there. And lastly, you know how it goes. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you guys next time. Love you very much. See ya. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Join the bug hive. Discord.gg slash capital F-A-H-7 capital M-M. Lowercase E. So, yes. Join the hive if you want to be part of the stream. And that includes voice chat as well. Voice chat will be integrated into the stream. You probably might have seen it. It looks a little bit something like uh, that thing over there. You see that little icon? That's me. And it could be uh, you too if you so choose to join the bug hive. So guys, I shall see you soon. Thank you for watching. I shall see you next Monday. Bye bye. Sorry, gotta wait for that little tie off.